So a while back, I pretended to be a complete noob and got coached by an e-girl. You have a ghost ult and uh, your stopwatch. Don't I'm going in. Perfect. Nice. Well done. Do you, do you, what would you say if I said I managed cap? There's no way. You guys enjoyed that video so much that I decided I'm going to make a part two. However, in this one, I will be the one doing the coaching. This video ended up being a lot of fun to make. So please, guys, if you enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and we'll get right into it. This video is brought to you by Professor. Professor is the companion app for League that I personally use. Did you know that Professor's champion select tool shows loads of useful information? With the tags feature, you can see your teammates' best champions, their main roles, if they're auto-filled, and even if they're win streaking or loss streaking. Now, when you queue up for ranked, Professor shows you the most popular champions so you can get a feel for what the meta is like. There's also super detailed post-game analysis that's way beyond any other stat tools. Of course, there's also the in-game jungle timers, the in-game summoner spell tracker, and the in-game performance tracker for all of your informational needs. And if that wasn't enough, you even have quick access to replays from the best players of every champion from any region. All of this and more is completely free when you download Professor using my link in the description. Thank you again, Professor. Hey guys, Minish Cap, and I am back here with Erica, who you guys might remember from the, the e-girl coaching video that I did, where I pretended to be a complete noob, and I and I bought coaching, and at the end, I told her it was actually Minish Cap, uh, and we were here, and I'm going to be actually coaching her this game, so if you want to do a little a little reintroduction for yourself for playing a game versus Kled here. Hey guys, it's awesome to see you guys again, and I'm really excited to get coached by Minish. Hell yeah. Alright, you definitely want to start your queue here, though. Um, you're playing versus a Kled, so so with Kled, you gotta be careful. He's gonna try and hit you with the Q, and then wrangle, wrangle you for that uh, health regen decrease that he gives. Um, versus most champions, you can push early, but Kled is not one of them, because he has such good bullying level 1, so you probably just want to let him like slowly push the wave towards you, and just like, yeah, kind of play a little bit defensively. We're gonna try okay. and play near the tower, and we're gonna try and fling him in. So right now we're just we're just chilling and we're just waiting. Okay. Very cool. And um, and I remember you said that you were you were getting back into Singed after a few years of not playing him, and things are a lot different now. So you're probably not used to like some of the changes, like with his W and his passive and stuff. And yeah, definitely watch out for his um. Oh, you leveled W. I don't know time. why. Yeah, I don't know why I leveled my W there. No problem. Yeah, I with, just, uh... <laughs> with, with Kled and a lot of other champions like that, you gotta be very careful early because they, they a lot of people, like, you know, as League has gotten older, they've learned that Singe is pretty weak in lane, so they'll play really aggressively and try and just, like, bully you out and stuff like that. So a lot of the time, I even find myself just giving up, like, tons of CS. Just, like, get the okay. wave near my tower. Um, his Q is down. But, okay, so he's uses E as well. He What he's doing, by the way, is he's saving points in his W. He's not putting them in, he's just saving them. And then what they'll do is when they finally get a good all-in, they'll put they'll dump all their points in W real quick and then just like try and hit you with it so they never have to spend on minions. So just kind of kind of be aware of that. Um, make sure that you get those cannons too, very important, but I think you're doing okay. He warded the river, so what we're going to do is leave the wave right here, and when he walks up, I want you to try and fling him into your tower. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice. Tower shot, very good. We're just gonna try and repeat that. Okay. Your sign's gonna come up too, but you have at least one more tower fling here, I think, if he walks up. First blood. Okay, you're gonna. Uh, he's gonna try and fight you here, by the way, on this on this wave bounce. So just try and. Uh, Sion is coming up, but he knows that he's there. So just try and play a little bit of aggro here. You can probably you can probably get a fling on him here. Nice. Get his passive. Don't eat too many auto storm because he will uh, he will recharge like that. So what you want to do, especially right there, make sure that you're autoing for your conqueror. Okay. I think you're good though. Overall, he might actually get a kill for you. You just go ahead and run back to lane and start pushing that wave in. No problem. Because I think um the last time like you seriously played Singe was before runes were forged, right? So conqueror like wasn't even a thing, was it? Yeah. It's been a long time. A little bit, little bit hard to get used to, right? It is, it is what it is. Yeah. I'm an EDC main now, so it's definitely... Uh, an AD carry with like lethal tempo and stuff like that, fleet footwork, no yeah. conqueror, really. Yeah. Yeah, with Singe, it's definitely a bit, a, bit, a bit slower to stack, even than other champions that use conqueror. Like, with Clud, he can use his, like, pretty much instantly, but... 
with yeah. Singed, it's definitely up like stop and auto and stuff like that. But it just scales so well into the late game. Like I always recommend players who are learning to pick it. Um, so right here, you gotta be a little bit careful. He's gonna just slow push the wave into you. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit boring if you're not used to playing top lane. But the thing is now, if you if you walk up here, you're gonna get pulled. Yeah, shoulder, right? I'm just so. soaking XP. Yep, exactly. So so what do you what do you think of I, you you played a few games of Singed um before coaching like what do you think of his like his his newer updated like modern kit I guess like they just buffed his passive and 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 reverted his ultimate and stuff like that. It feels really nice uh especially late game. Mm -hmm. Um it's something what like it feels really strong to be completely honest like stronger than he has been in a while. Yeah. That's why I stopped playing him is cuz he just like I don't know. For a while he was pretty he was, he was pretty unfun cuz it was like kind of weak, right? Yeah, he was so weak. Uh, for for tower shots on minions, it is one tower shot and then a poison puff on the range minion, after, and then you auto attack. To last okay. hit those for the melees, it's two tower shots and then a poison puff auto attack. And then for cannons, it really just depends because cannons get focused first by the wave, so you kind of have to play it by ear and see like how how low they yep. get. Um, he's ganking mid, so go ahead and hard push this. We're gonna okay. To see if we can get a tower play, I think your Akali's fine too. Hopefully, and make sure you're autoing the cannon. All right, good. Um, just because early game your poison DPS, DPS is kind of low, so it's important to auto the cannon and just get persistent damage. He really dove her, oh man. Yeah, just go ahead and keep pushing for that, for that plate. They might even kill him here, which would be great for you. Yeah. Alright, yeah, nice. So, his TP is down. Just go ahead and pop your, uh, pop your ult, and just get as many tower plates as you can. Because your ultimate gives you AP, so you get more damage on the tower. We'll try and, uh, as that wave comes in, just poison it, but keep hitting the tower. It, it seems kind of ridiculous to pop your ult for plates, but it's actually super worth it here because you're gonna get two where you normally would just get like one. And the damage is important too. Alright, so go ahead and clear that and then walk down to the tri bush. We're gonna have you proxy here. Are you, are you comfortable with that? Yeah! Alright, nice. So walk to the right and sit in that bush. Hit. And then when you see the wave, walk up and start, and start, and start, uh, sorry, I stuttered farming it and make sure that Kled doesn't fall. Yeah, go for it. Good, to the right, fling the cannon to the right too. Just make sure that you keep yourself away from him, and then stand in the on the cannon and auto it. Just, just a bunch, just auto it a ton. Yeah, he's ignoring you. This is good. See, and then we're gonna clear yes. this, and then we're gonna go back in the bush and recall. And that okay. way, you get a recall without him pushing to your tower. Nice. Yeah, very nice. I just taught you. So what am I buying basic here? Proxy. Uh, hold tab for me. You want tabby here this game? Yeah, Tabby is good. You can also go AP, but I want you to go Tabby because I want you to have a little bit of movement speed here. Swifties is what I would recommend if you were, like, very experienced on Modern Singe, because on Modern Singe, speed is really important now. But, okay. because because we're we're re like we're reteaching you the champion, right? So it's, like, important yeah. to, to, have the, to have the necessary tools for survival, I think. Okay. Your ult is up in 30, which is good. And he'll, he'll okay. get a plate, but if he didn't proxy, he would have gotten two. So it's very good to be able to use that to your advantage. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and farm behind tower. That's fine, just leave him go ahead and farm up in front of his tower too. Hey. Whenever your Scion comes up, you can look to fight him, but for now, just don't even worry that much about it. Because if your ult's done, I don't want you fighting him behind the tower. Although, you should go protect your blue buff. Uh, ping it too, ping it so your Scion comes, because he's gonna look for it. An enemy has been slain. And if you see him, just pop your ult and try and kite him. There you go. Just just run around. Make sure you dodge his Q. And if he commits to you, just just kite him out. Okay, nice. Very good. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and leave that and just start farming the way. We protected your science blade, which is okay. good. Um, he will try and all in you here. So just dump all your potions. Okay, good dodge on that. The thing about Kled too is when his bar is low to his uh, to his scarl. Whenever you fling him, if it's close enough, and he dismounts, it actually won't fling him. He'll just stay in place. So you gotta be very oh. careful about whenever you fling him. Yeah. Because if you're expecting him to, like, get flipped and then he doesn't get flipped, then you can put yourself in a bad spot, right? I think your Scion's out here. But he's running towards you, so try and protect him. You can actually kill this guy here. Auto, auto, auto. Nice, good job. Alright, push that all the way in. You're doing well. Oh, actually, yeah, they're here. Just hit them with poison. See if you can kill the Amumu. Or, like, the Kane's good, too, if you can get him. Either or. Make sure you're autoing. Nice. There you go. Good job. Nice. You see, when you actually get some stacks on Conqueror, it feels pretty good, right? Yeah. All right. Very good. You can, uh, if he tries to freeze it, see if you can fight him, but I don't think he will. As long as the tower starts to shoot it, you're fine to recall. Yeah, you're good. Nice. Recall. All right. I want so... you to get a blasting one here. 
We're gonna use some AP. Okay. We're actually gonna go demonic first here, by the way. We're not gonna go uh Rally's first this game. The reason why is there's a lot of a lot of health bars. Alright, what do you what do you think so far? How are you feeling about about singed in modern? I'm actually game? I I really like he feels a bit stronger in lane than he has been for the past bit as well. Mm -hmm. With the extra movement speed buff, it's just I don't know. It all feels really nice. How do you think he feels compared to like, you know, say season seven? I think it was the last time you played him seriously, right? Um, it's definitely taking me a bit to get used to, it's but different, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's enjoyable still. Like I'm actually having fun with the champion. Dope, that's good. Let's let this wave crash into you, I think. Okay. Alright, do you have any questions so far? Or... No, I'd say you're uh, helping me out pretty good. Good. Uh, make sure you hit this cannon, by the way, very important. And then you can just run your poison through the entire backline here. So make sure, like, whenever you're, you're DPS in the cannon, you can still just run around and poison stuff and lets you push a bit faster. Ping missing on yeah. your clip, by the way. Because he's probably going to look to go mid. Alright, use a potion charge for your mana. Make sure you don't you don't hold your poison on too long either. Just okay. enough to, like, sweep the minion wave and then you're fine. Um, he's going for Bork first, looks like, so we gotta be careful once he has it, but for now, you should be generally okay. Just look to push that wave, then we're gonna try and go behind his tower. Okay, he's, he, his Q is down, so see if you can just fling him, and just, and just run through the wave with your poison. Yeah, whenever you fling him, you don't want to go back into melee on him, you just want to run through the wave. The idea is to separate okay. him from his, from his creeps. Okay, walk to the right. Just see if you can go right past the tower, maybe he'll let you. Oh, the wave is a little bit slow, but you can get... Yeah, just go back around to the lane. Pop your all here's and it all in you. And then just farm the wave up. Oh, no. I think you're You okay. were so right. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Good. I went to play him and he hopped off. Yeah. I don't play against Kled very often. Yeah, Kled, Kled can be really annoying. He's like one of those champions where you don't play against him too much. When you do, he can be like really weird to play against. Yeah, because I just don't really understand how he works. I never play really against him. Too? Sorry, keep going. No, continue. The thing about Kled, too, is like the players who play Kled are really weird because that's like all they play, usually. So yeah. They're usually really good at Kled. It's kind of like Singed players. Usually Singed players only play Singed, so they're really good at Singed, right? Um, yeah. And then with Kled, like, he's just... The way his kit works, naturally, it's just like kind of good against Singed, so you have to be a little bit careful with him. But your team is doing okay, and you're going to end up outscaling him eventually. But I really want yeah. to get you behind that tower and start proxying when I can. If you can double him here as he's walking um, up. The reason why I do that is to try and get in range for uh, things like fling. Nice, there you go. Oh, he's in... Sorry, autoing him here? Auto him? You can probably kill him here. He's going to try and reset his uh, scroll though, so be careful over that. Get the fling here, you kill him? Oh, no! Oh, that's okay, I think you got him. Nice, okay, yeah. <laughs> that that click is really, really hard to get I'm used to. It. I'm talking about it. It's okay, it's okay. I got it, that's so funny. Nice, good job, good job. Yeah, make sure you get these plates too. Uh, so just poison that entire wave and drag it back to your tower, and make sure you auto it for that plate. That plate's really important. Because usually Singe is not getting plates, alright? So whenever you're able to get them, it's really good. Very good. Then just zap that cannon with your fling, and you should be good to either... Pro I I'd say we go ahead and, uh, and recall here. Recall? Yeah, okay. recall. The reason why I'm recalling is because he's an NTP in the lane, so when you're low HP, you yeah. don't be proxying without your ultimate either. I think that tower might, or that ward might be in tower range, I'm not sure. Yeah, it probably sure is. Here. Oh, it's not. Nice. And then we're not gonna buy pink, no pinks, no pinks. Ah, whatever you have already, it's fine. I usually recommend not buying pinks because, um, well, it's just like, your items are more important generally. But, okay. that being said, um, it's not bad to buy them either. Like, if, I'd say if you're learning Singe, go ahead, but if you're more seasoned, then... You generally don't need them because a part of learning Singe is like learning to track the jungler and stuff like that. Okay, he has Bork now. I think just all in him. See what you can do. See what you can do. Give him some autos. Whenever he has his W on you, it's good to try and kite it out. But I think for now, wait to fling him until he's off of his mount if he decides to fight you again. But for now, we're just trying to get his health bar a bit lower so you have an easier time going behind the tower and stuff like that. Don't worry about the pink word too much. Just walk behind the tower here and proxy it a bit. Oh. Put it, put, whenever, uh, you're I'll let you fight. Oh, you actually almost oh. killed him, too. Yeah, I, I was gonna try to turn there and fling him, but... So, whenever you're in a situation like that, it's actually super useful to, um, 
to put your W on your on your own body, like underneath your body as you're running away, because that'll force them to walk into it if they're close enough. Okay. And, and, and obviously, like, it might not have helped you survive there, but it helps, like, just to get you used to the habit of it, right? Okay. All right, so... Uh... What do you think? Damage? Amp 2? Uh, Ruby Crystal. Ruby Crystal. Ruby Crystal. Got we it. just want you to be a little bit tankier here. If you're ahead, okay. I always say go for AP. If you're behind, I say go for HP. Okay. That sucks that the uh, king was there. Yeah, it is what it is, but honestly, you're going to outskill this. My... The yeah, my fights. team's getting a lot for that. He's going to look for your blue buff here, so clear this wave and then walk over there. Okay. Just make sure he's not like taking it for free. Try and put some damage on him if he can. Alright, uh, drop your pink ward in that blue buff bush. There you go. Oh, kill that ward, kill that ward. And, and put your uh, yellow ward on that bush above you. Okay, no big deal. Yeah, right there. There you go. He's going mid. Uh, see if you can follow him here. Yeah. Then you can maybe catch the Amumu here. I want you to focus the Amumu down if he goes in. If not, okay. then don't worry about it too much. But the Lux is dead. Hey, uh, ping that Herald. Yeah, ping the Herald. Oh, no, your okay. team's going in. Go with them. I'm not sure why he's going in there. He <laughs> this. My team's just... They're just doing well. Wow. Not the not the greatest die, but I guess they got two right, so can't complain yeah. too much. You okay, what's the plan do here? The Herald here though. Okay, Herald. Yeah, dump all your potions. Dump all your potions. And make sure you fling it too. Your fling is percent max health damage. Uh, with big objectives like this, with like Dragon and Baron Herald, you can just double tap your poison because they're not going to move that much, and then you can just like wait for it to, like the debuff to wear out before you turn it back on. Like when it's about to wear off, you can just turn it back on. And then, yeah. Uh, one thing to note is that if the if the target is standing in the same spot, your poison will last for a total of uh, I think five point seven five seconds. I think. Um, and if they're moving, then it's two seconds. Unless you reapply it, then it's until they move out. Then it's two seconds. Because the poison lasts on the ground for three point two five seconds. It's like it's not going to matter too much if you're just learning, but in the long run, small things do matter like that, right? So. You got 300 gold for Harold. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, you can take the tower here. Totally, you can take it. With Harold or without? Um, I'd say clear the wave and then and then see what the the map state is. Because Kled's bottom, but if you pop Harold, hold tab when his dragon spawn. Oh, just drop it. Yes, yeah, go ahead and drop it. But to spawn in 25, we're not super close to it, but if you if you drop Herald, you're gonna pressure the map super hard here. We're gonna be that annoying singed, okay? Alright, go, go, go. Keep pushing. Alright, pop everything here and just try and live. If the Mumu chases, you can kill him. Maybe. Okay, no problem. Looks no problem. like he's Your not going to. For it, though. I'll take his blue buff. Yeah. Take, take your jungler's blue buff here. I want you to get some farm. We're gonna be we're gonna be annoying to our own team too. <laughs> Singe players. Right. <laughs> you gotta get in the character. You can probably do Gromp as well, honestly. Whenever the blue is low, just go ahead and drag it over to Gromp and then fling the Gromp. Very nice. Though you can get both and then recall, we can get some fat money. You also don't have to go Rallyzer, by the way. We can have you go Riftmaker if um, the game is okay for it. Honestly, it probably is okay for it, but we'll see. Okay. Alright, go ahead and recall and reset. Okay, after this recall, we're going to be grouping a bit more, okay? Let's just go ahead and... Uh, actually, I'm thinking... Let's go for the Rallyzer, for the Rallyze, yeah. Let's go for the Rallyze, because we're going to need to be a bit more effective in the short term here. Riftmaker is better long term because they're a little bit tankier. But we want to be with our team for the next few fights and go ahead and see if you can defend mid. All right, what are you thinking here? What's your what's your thoughts on the on the game state right now? What are your, what are your what are your goals for this game? Um ideally, I want to help peel for the Caitlyn and the Akali, I guess. Okay. Watch for the binding here. 
And why do you think that you you want to peel? I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just curious what your thought process is. I just think they're pretty ahead, and um, they're going to be able to assassinate the Sivir. Clear bottom. Um, you want to match the Qued now? Bottom? Okay. Yeah. You just want to be where, where he is so he doesn't have, like, a free roam. Okay. You think that you won't be able to kill the Sivir? Uh, I think I can. Okay. Um, honestly, the best the best answer is it's just dependent on oh, Akali's here. Um, I think it's fine. Just try and like share XP off of one wave and then ping that you're gonna buy Rhyolize. So it, it's dependent really on what your summoner spells are. Uh, ping them back in mid. They're looking to fight. That's no bueno here. If your summoner spells are up, it's easier for you to dive the backline. If they're down, it's easier for you to peel. You can do both as Singed. He's actually yeah. one of the best peelers in the game, but he needs summoner spell help to, uh... Oh, go mid, go mid, go mid. He needs summoner spell help to, uh, to dive backline. Yeah, see what he's doing? He's, he's waiting until, um... Yeah. People show up and he's ult right toward the mid. Which is a pretty typical top laner thing to do. And you'll always be a bit slower than him no matter what, so pinging is really important. Yeah. Should I go top here? Um, yeah, I'd say go ahead and clear top. I'm not sure what your team is wanting to do, because they're just fighting randomly. That is what it is. When is Dragon Small? Yeah. Two minutes. Okay, nice. Oh, God. Just go ahead and clear, ahead and clear one wave and then okay. we call for Rhyolize, I'd say. You can even go for Tier 2 okay. Tower, actually, because your team's just pressuring so hard. Yeah, Lux is TPing yeah. that Tower. But yeah, generally, if your summoners are up, you can dive backline. If summoners are down, you can peel. Um, but with this game, just do whatever is more comfortable for you, I think, because it's more about relearning the champion, right? Yeah. Can you get this? You totally can get this, yeah. Just watch her oh, yeah. walk. She's walking up. Alright, Pop, you're always going to all in you. I mean, we took a lot of damage. Alright, not the worst thing in the world. Let's go ahead and back up for Rylai's here. Nikled is top farming here because of you, which is good. That means he can't join his team. Alright, next yeah. item will be a Rift Maker, so go ahead and buy that Ruby Crystal. Just a bit of tank. Ruby hits. Crystal? Yeah. You okay. have a lot of damage now, so Ruby is fine. He's gonna ult on them from the left here, so maybe ping it on the river for them. There you go. Oh, he's just pushing. Okay, no big deal. Um, clear that wave that he's pushing in, and then we're gonna walk over to drag. And we're not gonna push more than one, just, just, just like the creeps that are here, and then maybe the next one. And I'll walk right over to drag. Make sure you're pinging danger too, because he's definitely walking over there right now. This is one of the most annoying parts about top lane, is like, hey, he's coming guys, don't fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, uh, it's the anxiety. Alright, walk over to drag. Very nice. Oh no. Yeah, that's how it goes. Oh man! Uh, pop your potions too. Just like at least one. Make sure you're always topped up. Very important. Just because Sin doesn't have any sustain, right? It's gonna be kind of easy to get lost in the sauce about your health bar. Okay, they probably you have this drag, I do which, here? Uh, they already have it, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just make sure that they don't get a free Baron. Okay. The hard part now that we have to consider is. If you if you group too much, then he's gonna split push, and if you split push too much, then yeah. he's gonna group, right? So what we yeah. do is what we're gonna I'm gonna teach you. This is a bit of a, a higher elo tactic. Get that crab in the crab in the river. That's the most important objective right now is the crab okay. in the river. Um, if they show up, then just try and run. But I think you can grab it as it spawns. Just fling it back towards the left. Um, you can just use your fling to break the shield. It'll break the shield and do full damage too. Then you can save okay. the W for um survival. But basically what we're going to do, we're just going to hover between lanes, and then... Okay. I guess looks wherever he so is, go ahead, go ahead kind of here. Okay. And then, wherever you see, like, the majority of your teammates are, like, right now, I call bottom 1v2, I'm not sure if she gets away with it, but... Wherever you see the majority of teammates are, um, by Ruby, or Amp I'm sorry. Just walk between where your teammates are, and the lane that Clut is splitting. And that's where you're going to path to. And then you can decide, once you're closer, do I defend the lane, or do I go to my teammates? And you're like you're gonna lose a little bit in either way, but here, right? If you're just running straight top, and imagine Clyde is running towards mid, then you're a little bit closer to mid, right? 
Well, also being able to get top if you need to. Alright, yeah, quite all ends, and we just we just kill him here, we just fight him. Yeah, go ahead and start fighting him. You can W, by the way, to stop his uh stop his Q, which is super useful. Make sure you're autoing, keep him slow to the right lines, you can catch him here. Oh, nice. Okay. Alright, good job. See if you guys can hey. I'm not sure. It's up to your scion at this point. Does he have smite hold tab for me? Check it. He isn't 24. So this is gonna be a bit dicey. I'd say ping back because if you don't have smite, then it's probably gonna be a steal from Kane. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a steal. Oh no. I can see it coming. Oh no. Yeah. Oh that's okay, that's okay. I think you guys are fine. Just go ahead and kill everybody here. Alright, nice, good kiting, good kiting. Yeah, you, no, they don't have Baron anymore, they just got the gold from it, so not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, and, and we got Nice, so and it's Mr. like... Zion should not be smiting Kled there. Yeah, what? <laughs> uh, buy a blue ward. There you go. Blue ward, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe I go top here, because this is really low? What do you, or think? What do you think? Where do you think you should go? I was thinking top would be good, because they've got mid and then they're going to reset. Remember when we talked about being in the in the middle of your team and where you want to go? Because like, just in case they respawn and get just in case, team. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. It's a very it's a very top lane specific strat, especially because TP is nerf. It's like more important to do it. I think. Like... Nice. nice. Hell yeah. That's actually really good. So he's dead. Just grab Should the crab. I take this? Yeah, grab yeah. the crab and then just go ahead and, and push top and see what you can do. See what you can make happen on the map. <laughs> You're honestly doing pretty well for like your for, one of your first modern Singe games in a long time. Yeah, trying my best, and I've got the best coach. So right, thank you. <laughs> you should start coaching more, Minish. Maybe I should. People ask me all the time, but I'm just. You should. You're actually like a natural at it. You think so? Oh yeah. I've been I've been practicing off stream for a very long time. Like I've been coaching since like. I don't want to. I don't want to say I'm old, but it's okay. Uh, let's, let's it's okay, Minish. <laughs> <laughs> not everyone knows how old I am. Relax. All right, relax. Um, so we're not gonna push for tier two. We just don't know where everyone is. So we're gonna yeah. back for a blasting one. I want you to actually run straight to your Caitlyn and Leona because they're doing the bot lane thing where they're just pushing up a little too far, and Cled's gonna look at them and get hungry. Oh yeah, he's going on them. I have like premonition. You do, I swear. All right, pop your ult. Just so can get there a little bit faster. Ping on the way. Ping on the way too. We we can finish this fight for them. It's fine. All right, start fighting. Focus the Amumu. Uh, if they back okay. off, then let it go because there's four v three. But yeah, they should absolutely not be up that far. That's okay. Your ult's gonna go down soon, so go ahead and back off. There, we can't really fight without it. The purpose of ulting early there was to run to the fight a bit faster, but yeah, the, fight, the fight's probably not winnable now without Caitlyn. So. Ooh, steal some minions here from Scion. Yeah. Ooh, maybe we can fling this guy. Ooh, good W. He can't he can't go into his ult when he's W'd. Very smart, big brain. Giant brain. I'm not sure how she got that. Good stuff. Oh yeah, we want to go for drag here. Follow your scion with the ghost here. Auto, auto, auto. Nice, there you go. Just keep following him. What, uh, try and stay away from Kled. Kled's gonna look to fo uh, focus you. And then if you can flash on Lux and kill her whenever you see her again. She's low enough to where you probably could. Oh, you're a gamer. Wow. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. How hyper are you? Oh my gosh. What's so your heart rate right was... now? Yeah, I was... Scared a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. What a crazy fight, holy moly. Ooh, they almost sold it to it, very good. We'll take that crab from Scion, that's your crab. I don't know what that guy's doing, but we can't fall, we have any uh, mana. Alright, let's go back and get your Rift Maker. Yeah. Gives her two drags too, which is super good. Can she kill him? Oh, nice. Alright, grab Rift Maker, then we're gonna go ahead and push mid. We're gonna push mid, then rotate to our team. 
and just and ping danger on the, the fog of war for them because the cleb's gonna hold on someone whenever he spawns that way if they get caught yeah it's not my fault you know i pinged it yeah i let you guys know right and to be fair it is is not your fault at that point so let's say push push this wave and push the next wave then we'll look to see if we can steal blue if, if, if he gets it then whatever it's fine but we're super close to level 16 i'll grab the next wave too we're super close okay. to 16 so that's our goal right now level 16 you are okay. you are freakishly strong at 16. okay so all that pain that you went through early game with the cled it's for the payoff yeah there you go you get 100 stats from that by the way you remember when it used to only give like 80. yeah crazy now wow they gotta make him buff for modern league i want you to steal this from him if you can take that shit. he's gonna let me have it oh, nice nice it feels better if you steal it, though, you know what I mean? Like, Caitlyn's getting dope. Just go ahead and start running towards water. Looks like everyone's gonna start going down there. Oh, oh no. no! She just died and she wasn't even snared! Yeah, just go, just go ahead and just go ahead and run down there. It's gonna be a long jog, but we're gonna go down there anyways. Okay. Oh! Oh my god, she's a gamer! Oh. She's a gamer?! Oh! Wait, okay, just pop your ult and run in there and start doing singe things. Super is your best target, but if you can catch Kane, that's good too. Good fling. Great W. And he just can't ult. He's yeah, the other he guy is so bad right there. now. The the Kane oh, the Kane guy. mains are always so angry about that. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. I'll right, we'll go ahead and clear clear these raptors, and then maybe you can farm uh, mid as well the next wave. Cause she'll go top probably. The Caitlyn will on, on spawn. Okay. So just take this and then take mid. We're gonna be really greedy with the farm here. If she's going mid, then we'll recall after this. You want her to have the farm if she can. Yeah. I'm not saying like give everything to Lady Carry, but if she's running mid and you got to recall anyways, then that's what Yeah. Um. What do what you, you think? think? Right, what do you want? I was thinking dead bands. What, what do you, you think? think? I like speed. <laughs> Deadman's is okay here. I personally would go Zonyas as like damage and armor, but if you want Deadman's for speed, that's really fun too. You can go Zonyas. Do you think nah, I go, go Seekers here? Go Deadman's. Buy the, buy the movie speed one. Okay. We're gonna have you a little fast here. You should be fine. Maybe if you need more damage afterwards, we can buy like um, Void Staff or something, but you're okay for now. I'm not sure why your Scion was there. They're yeah. gonna probably try Baron, so missing things. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You wanna drop your blue word on it? Thank you, and then go go over to your team here because they're fighting. Pop your ult early here, and save your ghost until you see someone who's low that you can get assist on. Yeah, help kill the Caitlyn here. Go ahead and pop your ghost because you're gonna kill him. Now you reset your ghost, run forward. Oh, they're all dead. Okay, never mind. See if you can do Baron. Lux is alive. They gotta be careful about the potential steal here. See if you can go find the Lux. If you can just go find her in the jungle. Yeah, she'll be looking for her alt steal. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, Where was man. she? She was up above you in in this bush right here. Oh, she's oh she's gone by now probably. I had a feeling. Yeah. I had a feeling. That's okay. When's dragon up? Sixty seconds or okay, so. Can you hold tap for me. Again? Let's see. I want you to probably flash on the. You don't even have to flash. They're all so weak. I say just try and survive and see what happens. Um, okay. Farm the wave that's in the lane right now. It's gonna be right next to you here in a sec. Yeah, just farm that. You can tell where the waves are, by the way, from um, where you looking were at ours. Yeah. Yeah. So just go ahead and farm this, and then start walking over to your jungle. I, I would normally tell you to back for a potion or something here, but you, you're fine. Take the safe way though. Take the long way, because if you walk through the jungle, they're gonna try and gank you. Oh no. Did she get caught? I hate to see Shut it. Down. Yeah, she's a little. Too that's far, not good. But... You can maybe honestly win the fight. Nah, nah, nah. Go, go to your team. Go to your team. Go to your team. You're not gonna split. Right, I'd say because they're separated, just pop your ult and start helping a collie. All right, turn around. Uh, actually, you can kill him. Nice, good job. Focus the Mumi. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. Good job. Drop poison where his Zonyas is, and then just keep going. Yeah, you're gonna go crazy here. Flash fling the Sivir. The Sivir. Oh, That's rip. my bad. All good, all good, good. She died. It's okay. Yeah, you played it well. That's fine. With practice, you'll like you'll learn all of like the little flash flings and stuff like that. Yeah. 
Because it's kind of hard, right? Like, because you have so many decisions to make. Like, where do I put poison? Where do I fling? Where do I W? Like, is there yeah. any carry over extended? What do I do? Yeah. Can I see your, your damage breakdown? Uh, like, on... Uh, on, the, on the death recap? If you hit expand? Yeah. Oh, it's all silver. Yeah, DMP should be more than okay here. Okay. I guess he's gonna do this. I mean, Lux is alive and she might steal it. I hope he has some might. He should really kill that ward, too. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Your dead man's is 1.3 and you have 900, so yeah, just go ahead and farm mid whenever you get there. Nice, you got it. You gotta run, Scion. See, if I'm Leon, I just let him die there, personally. Oh my god, what is that shield? I like what you're doing with your pathing. I mean, I could have clean this up. Yeah, your Zion's yeah. a monster. Holy moly. Alright, just, yeah, just pop your ult and help your teammates out here. See if you can kill that in Moomoo. Poison, 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 poison. There you go. Happens it to me on. too, it's okay. <laughs> w on your Leona here. You can always tell wherever the cane's gonna go by whoever's lowest HP. So if you put your W on them, you can like preemptively get them. Let's keep this guy slowed. Nice, good job. I would just say shove mid with your with your Caitlyn here. Make sure she's protected from the cane. Then after you get as many minions as you can, uh, put a blue on his red. His red? Yeah. There he is. I knew yeah, he was there. there. He um, whenever you get these minions, just go ahead and back up for your your DMP. Yeah, just recall right next to her so she's protected. She's gonna get engaged on my Clyde here, so ping her back. Oh yeah, we got that back for sure. Good pings, we'll get DMP, and you can finally be a little faster too, which is super nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be this is a banger of a game. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. We we, we definitely got a, a a thick game here. I can I can't believe it. So many kills, almost a hundred kills. Yeah. Right, make sure that okay at this point because the Cled's not splitting, we're just gonna we're gonna cradle our Caitlyn and Leon as much as we can. Yeah. And if he if he splits, then I want you to max out your pings on backing on back pinging them, while you go farm. But I think okay. we're okay. He's here, here right now, but I think he's gonna just walk towards mid he'll, now. He'll, yeah, he probably will. He wants to use his his Cled power to engage. So you to be careful. Oh. She took your cannon. <laughs> Why are you pinging me? <laughs> you should give her control four. That's your that's your laugh hotkey. It's very important. No, okay, I was gonna say. Oh my god, it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, just just I want to be behind them to where they don't see you in fog of war. That way, if he goes in, then you can be like, ah, it's me, surprise. Okay, he's top, so run run a little bit further up with your scion see, and ping for engage here, in mid. No, not top, not top. With your scion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just help him. There you go. Because the Cled's gonna come, and when you, when you hear the Cled ult, I want you to run back to your Caitlyn and protect her. But for now, just go ahead and do your Singe stuff. Yeah, just stay on your Caitlyn here, with your R, your R. There you go. No! Oh. Yeah, you tried. That's that's difficult. Your team's doing pretty well, though. See if you can flash on the Lux whenever he gets close. You're doing well. Okay, no big deal. I, I doubt they can Baron, but you probably want to recall here just to make sure you have a health bar. Ooh. You might get him here, actually. Nice, well done. Very well done. Ass cheeks are clenched. <laughs> I think your heart rate is crazy right now. That was a crazy fight. Good stuff. Uh, what are you doing here, Fawn or Frozen Heart? I'm, I'm thinking Zanyas. I'm thinking stop watching Zanyas. Yeah, because if you, get, if you get hit by Lux Binding, that ult's coming, and you want to pop Zanyas when that happens. Yeah, I like it. Plus, you get AP and armor, yeah. which is nice. And armor, yeah. So that fight, ideally, what the best play is for you to just just run straight for the Caitlyn and try and dodge skill shots and get her. Or sorry, the the Sivir or the Lux. Lux is actually, I think, yeah. a more important target here. Yeah, with her stare. 
Yeah. Um, but now that your summoners are down, we're probably going to have to peel a bit more. I think your Caitlyn's like, just getting hit by random stuff, so it's kind of hard to peel her, but we'll see We'll see how that fight plays out, and you can just kind of play it by ear. Make sure you spam pinging the dragon, because people will be dumb about it. Good, good, good. Yeah, just go ahead and... Uh, your Akali's being dumb now, standing up there by yeah. herself. I want you to farm that wave, but then she's just, like, putting herself in a bad spot. If someone walks up to the bush, you can maybe fling them into your team, unless it's a Moomoo. Yeah. Never fling the Moomoo into your team. Stand over to the right, because the Kled wants to flank from the right side. You see how they're warding there? Yeah. Watch out, watch out here. Ult, there you go. See if you can fling someone in. The Kane's a great target here, by the way, if you can, if you can find him. Kane's, like, super good target. She killed him, nice. Yeah, yeah, you're good to just pop your zonions. Oh, late game Sivir is rough. This is... I think you're okay, though. Your team's looking like they're cleaning up. So watch out for Lux mostly here. And let your Scion kind of yeah. line for you. You can also just turn for the drag as a thing. I'm not sure why he's not just doing that, but... Oh god, this Akali just died. Ooh, cool. Yeah. Like that is a rough. Caitlyn's doing drag. I guess that's soul. That's good. Soul is really important. Yeah, I'll take it. Wait, your Caitlyn's full HP after she was fighting the entire time. Interesting. Yeah. If he just fought it, we could have killed them all. I think. Yeah, it is what it is. It's not the biggest deal in the world. You're gonna have sums next fight. So next fight, we are we are not killing for Caitlyn. We are gonna go ape shit for that for that Lux or that Sivir. Whoever you can find, okay. But for now, I think it's okay. Alright, how are you feeling so far? What are you thinking? Feeling good. Okay. I would like to up my farm a little bit. Yeah, your farm's pretty okay, all things considered. Once you practice it, yeah. like, your farm will go pretty high, but you're doing really well. It is also a very hectic game, so... Yeah, it's kind of been all over the place, hey? Yeah. This is a banger. Oh, <laughs> it's Caitlin, gonna be a long no, video. She's an award. Was she? No, she's not. If they fight him without... Oh god, this Caitlyn's a psychopath! I'm not sure what she's doing. I'm not sure why she thinks she can win that. That's super not bueno. Oh, this is just... Okay, that's probably what? their Baron. That's okay. Just just ping the Baron back. There's no way you can fight that. I'm not sure why she's walking up there. But that's okay. You, you can't control it. <laughs> that is just how it goes. Yeah, I... I oh, maybe he steals it? Make sure your ult's up. I wouldn't fight too much. Poison off. Ah, you're poisoned! It was off? Yeah, it was off. I think this- No! Was oh, no! Just, just, just push the wave, push the wave, push the wave, push the wave. You can heal a bit off of it, too. Just keep pushing. Because there's, like, there's, like, no chance you recall out, so you try and get as many minions as you can, right? And try and yeah. sell them. Uh, so what happened there was actually a super annoying bug with W. With with Singed, if you push W, they don't have a wave in mid, which is good. Not yet. If you push a W and then Q, um, your poison won't turn off. Because it's like casting the animation for your W. It's really weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I was kind of wondering that. So, I, I thought it was on, because yeah. I pressed it. A good way to get around that is just turn your poison on like well before the fight and just leave it on. Especially at this stage when your ultimate gives you so much regen. Yeah, this Caitlyn's kind of trolling. Yeah, she has been a bit. You can actually maybe defend whenever uh, Scion and Akali are up, but she she kind of has been. That's okay, okay. that's what it is. Um, buy an Elixir of Iron here. You might as well, right? They, there's a good chance they'll try yeah. it in, so you're gonna, you're gonna want it. Okay, Akali. If she gets one of the, oh, the carries, no. it's really good. She doesn't. Okay, you're up in two. Pop your ult and turn poison on. And just try and flash fling the, the Lux or the Sivir. One of the two. Yeah. Try and get the minion wave if you can too. It's a good option. Oh no, you hate yeah. to see. That's okay. Yeah, I'm a, you're, you're, I can't believe we lost that game. It, it's a, a, a big problem there is like you're... This is an issue with like AD carries in general. They just they never respect the enemy top laner, and they'll just walk up like that. He, she did it like 15 times that game. Yeah. You know what I mean? But 
you know what? That's okay. You did very well for for relearning the champion by all means. I mean, if you keep going, you'll probably end up like carrying games like that, you know. So yeah, so pretty good. But overall, not too bad. I think you did very well. Do you have any uh, any comments or anything like that? Any any questions or? Um, honestly, I feel like you you did a really good job coaching awesome, me and stuff, awesome. and and the game felt nice. Like all of your input was really good. Cool. And I felt like I was quite helpful to my team, um, and I was in the right places at the right time. Yeah, definitely. And you gave me a lot of insight on where I should be on the map. And again, just just with practice, like that game is totally carryable. So don't worry too much. About yeah. It. Don't stress. It is it is always a practice thing. All right. Well, thank you for thank you for being on. I do appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Manish. All I right. hope you have a wonderful day. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.